Daniel, um, our interview with you yesterday proved prophetic in the end around this circuit. Just tell us what happened. Yep. Um, yeah, so I expected um, someone to take take out the barrier in, in turn eight first, but um, yeah, I was the one in turn 15. So uh, yeah, obviously I uh, felt a bit bad about it. I uh, said sorry to the guys and um, yeah, it was just, I had a look at the onboard and I think everyone had a live feed of it, so um, they, they could ride with me, but uh, I don't think I actually overshot the braking or anything. Uh, I think I just came off the brake too quick to carry too much speed through the corner and uh, yeah, just lost the rear and, and gave it a good good whack. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was that. I think on a positive, the guys did a pretty tremendous job to get me back out for the start of FP2. Uh, so yeah, we got the full session. Uh, we don't have the speed today that, that we want for the rest of the weekend. So we, we got some work to do tonight. But uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting around here. You know, I think the track is really challenging. I think that's a good thing. Um, but that combined with the low, low level of grip uh, definitely makes it hard to find a good setup as well. So um, don't think we quite found that today. But uh, if we get it right tomorrow, I think you'll get quite a big uh, chunk of lap time. Any surprises from what you've seen in the simulator and from walking around this track? Um, surprises. It's. It feels as tight as it looks. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, even turn 13, the quick kink, and then the last set of S's before the start finish line. Um, you know, they're, they're full, but they're not easy full. And uh, I think with high fuel, when, when you start getting the tires going off, it's gonna be interesting. So it's cool to have some of these high speed corners that are on the edge. Um, so yeah, there's not, obviously then the straight's long, so you get a bit of a chance to breathe, but pretty much all the corners keep you busy and keep you occupied. So. Uh, <laughs> If there's no walls, then they're quite bumpy or there's there's a low level of grip. So there's no real easy corner on the track, which uh, which is good good for the, the challenge, definitely. The boys were saying maybe Red Bull are sandbagging, but actually by the end of that session, you've got some pace to find, haven't you? That, that was that genuine today? Yeah, I mean, it's we weren't uh, we weren't hiding much today at all, to be honest. So um, but with as I said, like with these new services, if you just get the tire to work and, and find that that next step of grip, I think it can equate with you know quite a big chunk of lap time so uh, we've got to find it but if we do overnight then uh, we should be a lot closer tomorrow but yeah the uh, pretty much all the Mercedes powered cars look pretty strong.